Welcome to the webcast, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Slick 40 at the Kennedy Space Center, and we're launching Phoebe on its first flight of 2023. My name is Oscar Fleet, and today I'll be your narrator for the webcast. Today we're launching Booster 4, which is now on its third flight, and we hope to recover it downrange on our drone ship. Where are the engines? The stages are in vital top off. Talcom 1A has a sister satellite, which is Talcom 1B. They each weigh around 1.6 tons and were built by INVAP in Argentina. These satellites are Earth observation satellites containing L band microwave radars and infrared cameras, which gives the ability to see through clouds and at night. Soon enough, you'll see that strong back retract away from the rocket. This houses the electricals and pumps required vehicle release out of sequence required prior to the launch. Ground hydraulics secure. Due to the uh, L-band radars, they will be able to monitor disasters, joining a joint Italo-Argentine SIA-SGE constellation, consisting of four Tosmos sky satellites. Just into internal power. The reason the rocket is so dark is because this booster has flown twice already, and this will be its third flight as mentioned. Soon enough, Phoebe will get a full-on upgrade to its software, and that will slowly be rolled out onto the earlier uh, boosters that are currently in working function at the moment. Stage one blade, first stage, ACS close out, club zone all sequence. Of so just propellants are in are at flight level. In our put in our approach complete, engine blade is complete. We're only a small bit away from the launch now. And we're getting the vehicle is getting ready to lift off and head to space. We're also having some new drone ships entered into the Saturn fleet soon, and those will be showed off during the launch in our upcoming missions. You see securing, final engine shutdown. We're also glad to announce that our first ever live webcast will be happening very shortly, in a couple of weeks. This means that all stages of the mission are completely live. And there you see the strong Six, background. One two tanks pre pressed for flight. BBs and startup. Engine vector controls complete. We're about three quarters of a minute away from the launch. You just had Audi go for launch. Everything looking good in the mission control center. Those things are at flight pressure.
previous configured for five. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It looks off. And lift off of Phoebe on its first flight of 2023. Vehicle pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Nominal orange telemetry. Next major milestone is Max Q, where the vehicle experiences the most stress as it climbs out of the atmosphere. Mark one. Max Q. There you had the call from range. That's Max Q. Next major milestone for the mission is Miko stage set and second engine start. The first stage will uh, land on our drone ship where are the engines and the second stage will continue on to orbit. Miko, stage set first confirm and SES2 or SES1. Uh, beautiful views of the Cape and Florida there. Vehicle following nominal trajectory. Separation confirmed. And there you hear confirmation of fairing separation. You can see them off in the distance there. Those house to payload and make sure that they uh, don't burn up essentially on the way out of the atmosphere. It also helps to keep the rocket aerodynamic. Coming up next is Seco, second engine cutoff. Position of signal, Kermuda.
Trooper and start up. Tree burn shut down. Stage one trajectory looking good. Almost six minutes into flight now, and we're approaching that orbital speed. Any minute now, we'll hear the call from uh, from Mr. Control, hearing a second engine cut off. Zico. And now Phoebe will coast around to its apoapsis. Orbital insertion burn complete. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, shut down the webcast and we will be with you again when we reach our apoapsis of 150 kilometers. We'll see you fairly shortly and until then, thank you for staying tuned. DB has landed. Recovery operators move in to secure vehicle with section 1.11. A successful landing from Phoebe there, almost, almost being a failure, but very thankfully we survived that one. And that is the first successful mission of 2023. And we're now back, ready for our final burn. Uh, starting that very soon. Second engine start. And even though there's a tiny burn that was just enough to get us into a, a spherical orbit, very successful mission there. Unfortunately, the mission lapse timer has frozen uh, after the second engine shut down initially. So um, thank you all for watching the today's webcast. We hope you've enjoyed uh, the launch and here's to many more launches in 2023. We'll see you next time.